Okay, you know he has taken performing to a whole new level. We are visiting with this guy right now, Braden Drevlo. Thank you so much for joining us on Skype. My goodness, can we just start with what are you doing? Like, you are a real performer. What are you doing in that picture? In that picture, uh, I'm, I'm flying. You know, I have to say, everyone always asks on the picture if there's any fish line or something. Um, that, uh, that's just pure magic. That's just me sitting, my hands on the piano, and then jumping up. It took like 52 tries to get that picture. <laughs> I think it's totally worth it. Totally worth it. I would agree. Okay, so let's go back into your world travels. And you said you were in Asia uh, when everything started to change in the world. All of our lives have been turned upside down. Uh, can you talk a little bit about COVID around the world, how it's affected you, how it's affect, affected performers? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so at, at least in the experience of seeing it um, all around the world, um, I was in Asia both in January and in February as well. Um, that I started in, in Vietnam uh, and in Hong Kong in January, um, just as it started to spring up. Um, and it's interesting that they have, especially in like Hong Kong with the experience that they had with SARS, that they were um, taking pretty well, they're taking pretty good care of it. Um, but then I came back in February and in February I was going actually, yeah, I guess around the world. Um, and I was kind of stopping, popping in a few different places in, in Europe, in Africa, in the Middle East, um, and then back into Asia. Uh, and I saw it in so many different countries and how, um, how the different um, governments are taking, taking a hold of it. Um, so for example, um, like in Egypt, that there was very little care about it um, and it was very dangerous. Whereas in Dubai, that it was very strict, um, checking everybody, um, and then I remember being back in Thailand, scuba diving some shipwrecks, and it was, um, uh, people were getting very concerned about it, but they knew how to handle it, so. You are amazing. You're one of those people that I just want to, if coffee shops were allowing us inside, I'd just want to sit and visit and listen to your stories for hours and hours. It's just amazing uh, from just one person. Okay, I want to get to hearing you play a little bit, but uh, before we do that, in case we run out of time, uh, how can people find you? Of course, your performances are on hold right now, but where can they find out where you're going to be, what you're doing, follow your amazing life? That's a good question. Uh, so usually I put most of my concerts on my website. So if you see my name right below, I just like BradenDrevlo.com. Um, and that's where I put all the websites, a whole bunch of videos. Um, and I put all my my recordings and all that kind of stuff on there. So that, that's where you can find it. Okay, Braden, can we have you play something once again for us? And if we have time, hopefully we can hear more later in the show. But right now, what are you going to play? Do, do, do by George Gershwin, my favorite composer. That is amazing. That's what loving music sounds like. Brayden, thank you so much for joining us. You are amazing. And I can't see, I can't wait to see what you do next when uh, everybody is able to move about and go back to their normal lives. Thank you so thank much you for your so time much. today. We'll be right back here on North Dakota Today.